hello everybody welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're not i'm g and today's video is all about this real or fake louis vuitton um prompt bum bag first of all don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps me out a lot i make beauty luxury and lifestyle content so if that is your jam join the fam so let's jump right into this so which one do you think is real and which one do you think is a fake so i'm gonna let you take a second and guess and put it in the comments and let me know this one or this one so if you guess this one you are right this right here is a replica of the louis vuitton on front bum bag and i'm gonna put it up close from the naked eye, you really can't tell that it's not the real thing, honestly. Um, and let me just kind of get the backstory of why I even have this bag. So a company bag show reached out to me and um, they reached out to me just like other brands do. And they were like, hey, we have designer bags. If you're interested, take a look, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, designer bags. That's up my alley. So I went and looked and I was like, wait, these are not real. So they had everything from Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, Hermes, all the brands on there. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to hard pass on that. I'm not wearing a fake bag. But then my brain started turning and I'm like, I want to see how real these fakes look. So I messaged the vendor back and I was like, hey, yeah, I'm interested. And I wanted to pick a bag that I had so that I could do a comparison. So I picked the bum bag because I had this. So this is the real Louis Vuitton and this is the fake. So I messaged them back. I told them what bag I wanted and they sent it to me. And it came in a box. <laughs> that says Louis Vuitton it is definitely not um a real box and it kind of has like glue residue and like you could tell that it's not um uh, real but it did come with this if you are a Louis Vuitton girl you know what this is like a receipt holder it has a piece of paper in there and it even has like this little booklet and you know Louis Vuitton doesn't do this um what is this like a ziploc type of bag they don't do this but it is it does have something in here. Let me see if it says that it's a real or fake. And it also came with a ribbon. Now this ribbon I do think is real, but it wasn't tied around a box or anything. It was just kind of thrown in the box. So in this little booklet, it says Louis, Louis Vuitton outside calf leather man-made lining. And I'm not gonna lie, the, the fake replica smells like leather. It, it does smell like leather. I do believe that it is a leather bag. Like I said, it is a very good replica. So I do believe that they did use leather. And then in this booklet, yeah, it's just a Louis Vuitton booklet. Kind of gives some backstory of Louis Vuitton and it's in different languages. So that is what came in the box and it did come with a dust bag as well. So I mean, the presentation was really trying to give like real. <laughs> So oh, I was kind of surprised when I saw it. I was like, okay, it looks real. It smells real. But then when I got my bag next to it, I could definitely tell. So I'm going to put them closer. So this is the real. So the, is it debossed or embossed? The, the deep, I'm going to say debossed. The debossed, the Louis Vuitton, the LVs, and the, the flower motif is definitely less like showy it kind of really blends into the leather in the real bag and on the fake it's a very visible so it's like really stamped in there hard and you can really see it versus this one is kind of like faint you can really see it on this one and like i said this is the fake also the d rings this right here this one is bigger and it's definitely plastic this one is smaller and it's definitely metal and I can tell because of the weight of it. So this is very light and the other one is very heavy and it's definitely a bigger size. So that is what I would say is the dead giveaway on this bag that is not real is the hardware because the hardware is not leather. I mean, it's not metal. Um, I do still have the little sticky stuff on it. Let me take that off. 
but I mean just upon first sight like it really kind of didn't fool me but I just was like oh it's a really nice it's a really really nice replica um it looks really similar before I put it next to my bag so yeah like I said the hardware yeah mm -hmm. the hardware is very light it doesn't have any weight to it so that's how I could tell it's plastic and it's very very shiny It's very, very shiny. And I think the, the hardware on the fake bag is just bigger because this zipper pull is smaller on the real one and it's bigger on the fake. So that is another way that I can tell. And also just the overall size actually of this bag is bigger than this one. If you can tell. Let me see. Like this one is just slightly larger. And also... The strap is a, a like really different. So there you can see, like I say, all the hardware is just bigger. Like this is the original, this is the fake. The hardware is smaller, this one is bigger. And even the strap size is wider. And also it has like this, like you can see where it stops, where the leather stops. I hope you can see that right there and like louis vuitton would never do that like that it looks very abrupt and unfinished and even on mine i don't even, I don't even think it has that no it's stitched it's no like abrupt cut of the leather so that is the difference um the inside actually is the same um i don't know how they did it or i guess because this like microfiber lining probably is not too expensive to find. So this is the inside. Uh, let me put the real is going to be on this side and the fake is on this side. So ah, I need another hand. This is the fake. This is the real. Um, mine is made. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. This one is Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Not made in France. Um, but it really does look the same and it feels the same on the inside. Like I said, this is a really nice replica. <laughs> um, and if you are into that, that is your prerogative. Like I'm not gonna judge anyone who wants to wear a replica bag. It's not my thing. I don't wear replicas because I just feel like if I can't get the real thing, then I don't need to have it. It's just simple as that. Like I don't wanna wear a fake one. I, I want the real thing. But if you are like, I'm not spending a thousand dollars, give me the fake. This brand or this company does really, from this bag, really make some, some good replicas. And like I said, it is called Bag Show. And I'll have all of the details in my description. But yeah, it's, it's really given real if you don't really know what the real one looks like. Or if it's not directly next to a real one. So this is the fake again. And this is the real. And even the top handles are very, very like similar i think they're really identical if you could see that they are identical um now i know a lot of people can decipher fake louis vuittons from real louis vuittons by the lettering and mm, yes yes i can tell Mm -hmm. I can tell. So it's not really a big difference to the naked eye, but this one just kind of the fake. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it just doesn't look uh, like professional. Like it's kind of faint and like the paint is kind of like worn in some places. But on the real, it's not like that at all. You can see it clearly and I mean like really you're probably looking at both of them like they look the same but if you really look up close you can tell the difference like some of the letters are off like I will say on the real the T's are closer together and on the fake they aren't and even on the real the V is kind of pointier this one isn't it's kind of like peeling like like the lettering is kind of like peeling a little 
a little bit you you can't see it but it's kind of filling so i mean it's a really good a really good fake like it's a really good fake other than the size like i said this is slightly bigger that is probably the biggest difference and like while this is being bigger everything else is bigger so all of the hardware is bigger the strap is bigger so it, that is really the big big difference um <laughs> other than that it's a really not that big of big of a difference in these these bags which is a shame because they're really getting good at knocking them off and it's kind of scary if you purchase like pre-love sometimes they do slip in replicas and they can kind of get mixed in with the sauce and you can end up getting a fake bag so i know that's that's the scary part like you think you're buying something real and it may not be because it just looks so identical and so real so that is the kind of scary part with this whole thing and not to mention it is illegal to knock off a designer's design and call it that designer <laughs> that is illegal so those two things it's just that's kind of why i just don't i'm not really into replicas like i just and i kind of really love luxury so i respect the designers i kind of know the history behind some of the brands so it kind of doesn't do any justice for me to have a fake one if that makes sense so that's just my spill on it but like i said i do not judge if you are wearing a fake bag sport your fake bag period <laughs> do you but yeah um i just want to kind of show you i thought this was like a fun little video like huh look at that crazy and the only reason why my bag the leather is kind of high up on the zipper is because i've worn it a lot so it's kind of just permanently open so that i can unzip but when i did get it like when i first got it, it was covered like that like this <laughs> it was covered so yeah can you spot it it's a really good one and like i said if you are interested to see what other bags they have or if you want this bag i will link everything below i think this is like running for maybe two or three hundred dollars i think and that's the thing like if you're not paying like twenty dollars for a fake bag like they are really kind of charging some coin but I guess because they're really putting a lot into it, like I said, this is leather. It smells like leather. It feels like leather. Um, so you are getting some type of quality. So yeah, they aren't cheap, cheap, but they aren't like this bag now might be 2000 something. I paid 18, but it might be like 2000 now. So 300 versus 2000. I mean, I can understand why you would go with this one. I totally, totally get it. So yeah, this is the fake uh, bum, bum bag Louis Vuitton on prompt bum bag. Tongue twister. This is the fake Louis Vuitton on prompt bum bag. And yes, like I said, the vendor is called Bag Show and I will have all of their everything linked down below. So let me know in the comments if you was able to spot the fake or how you feel about it. Um if you're going to purchase like just let me know sound off in the comments and i will see you in the next video